Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Hope you all are staying in good health. We are back from our trips and back home with our usual work and home schedule. We had our parents and siblings coming for a stay over with us and I was quite busy with all those hence did an overall cleaning before them coming. Though I have a sister coming home for helping me I still check all around if everywhere is neat and tidy. Now our bathrooms didn't have any holders for placing few stuff like toothpaste moisturizer oils or any such only a tiny holder for toothbrushes were kept hence I bought these to place in each bathroom. These are called magic stickers because of the strength it has on the wall. You don't have to drill your bathroom or any wall tiles. I had purchased one to try and later bought for all the bathrooms. Now these are not just for the bathrooms, it's multi-purpose. All you need to do is wipe the surface before placing so that there isn't any dust. Remove the plastic sheet from below, then stick the sticker on the wall. Then insert the rack into the magic sticker. It's advisable not to place anything on the rack before 24 hours of sticking. I shall share the link for purchase below in the description box. This is not sponsored. This is completely my personal choice. Hence, I'm sharing with you all. It's been so long since I went for a stay over at my parents' house after my brother's wedding. My father insisted on staying for few days and hence thought to share with you all a day from there. My new sister-in-law Chinnu had gone to her house so you won't find her in this video. We had the black peppers ready to be plucked from the wine plant growing on the coconut trees at home. It's a bit risky to climb on the ladder that's placed on the tree but feels good to pluck whatever organic fruits and vegetables growing at home. My elder brother was ready with a sack to collect the pepper plucked. With my brother holding the ladder as a support, I had the confidence to climb more on top as most of the pepper were over down, leaving the rest on top. There was still more left, but today we collected these many. But mom insisted on plucking most of it and there was another one which needed no ladder and it was just reachable without. These days the weather is getting hot, summer is approaching. Felt really thirsty and my dad wanted avil milk. My husband makes avil milk every time in our house and I have done a video on his recipe. This time I prepared. You can definitely make it without coconut but coconut adds good taste. I don't know what this is called. We call it pung and it's tasty. This is my mom's coconut scraper unlike mine. You can place the plate beneath on the stand and start scraping. I'll link below if I find anything similar online. This is fresh avil or poha or the flattened rice. Roasting the required quantity on medium low heat till it lightly changes the color and becomes crunchy. The quantity I have used is for almost 7 to 8 glasses. I shall share the ingredients for lesser quantity in the description box and then you can adjust accordingly. Transfer the crunchy avil into the mixing bowl and let it cool down. Squeeze the coconut to a mixer and blend it with some water or fresh milk. My husband adds the coconut as such to get the bite of the coconut. Here for a change I blend it. The oven has cooled down, I have kept some aside and that's for adding on top while serving. You will need bananas and I have used small ones, you can use any type. 
more the bananas, the tastier and lesser the sugar you'll need to use as a sweetness from the banana would help. Mash the banana with the oven. You can use a fork or a masher or simply your hands, it's up to you. Add top nuts. You may use cashews, almonds, peanuts, raisins and such. I have used only cashews here. Add the blended coconut. Then add more cold milk. If you have pasteurized milk, you can add as such. If it's raw, boil, cool down and then add to the oven. Mix well. Add ice cubes instead of water as it increases the quantity as well as make it chill. Add sugar as per the requirement. This is black couscous which I had soaked in water a few minutes back. It's all popped up, added that as well. Time to serve. That's roasted gram for garnish. Along with that, add some roasted oil. That's a simple oil milk to curb your thirst and refresh your body. For lunch, we had the leftover chicken manti prepared the previous day. I decided to cook dinner for my family, hence I started the preparation early. The menu was chicken pan pizza with tuna salad and as a dessert, prepared pan kunafa. I have known this as Chinese cabbage. Here in shop, I got in the name of Uti Kas. Anyway, bought one and used for preparing tuna salad. I removed all the leaves in a bowl and put in water for some time. The sugar syrup for kunafa needs to be cooled down, hence prepare that and get it. So for that you need 2 cups sugar and 1 cup water, squeeze half a lemon, keep on medium flame. After the sugar is melted, let it boil for 10 minutes and then you can switch off the cream. For the dressing of the tuna salad, add mayonnaise, ketchup, red chilli sauce, 
tahina or the sesame seeds paste olive oil and salt mix everything really well and then you can add just ingredients as per needed i need capsicum for pizza as well as salad for salad chopping to small chunks from the cus i chopped off the thick part the rest chop into the sauce and i did it with scissors which is easier add more sauce if needed add the chopped capsicum add cooked pasta now my husband isn't a tuna fan so I kept some aside so that he could have without to the rest i added a tin of tuna you don't have to cook as it's ready to eat mix well finally adding chopped coriander leaves mix everything very well and this tastes better when cold so do place in the fridge soon after it's prepared i have made kunafa with bread and the recipe link is below in the description box but this is the kunafa dough or the string like dough actually used for preparing kunafa These are available in shops easily. You need to loosen the dough well and pour melted butter into it. Add 2 spoons of the sugar syrup just to make it wet. Mix very well. You can use a non-stick pan if you have. My mom had this thick bottom stainless steel so I'm using this. Spread some butter. Spread half the kunafa mix as the bottom layer. Spread evenly. Since I didn't have thick fresh cream, I skipped and added only the mozzarella cheese. but i would suggest to add fresh cream as well then add the remaining kunafa dough on top and spread evenly please on low heat and cover it now to avoid the fear of burning place a tawa below the pan My mother and mother-in-law both have started using the stand mixer I bought for them and they are really happy with it. For the base of the pizza, add 2 cups maida, 2 teaspoon baking powder, 1 tablespoon red chili flakes and 1 cup curd. Knead well. You can prepare two medium-sized pizzas with this quantity. I prepared three by preparing the dough again with half the quantity. Don't forget to check the kunafa. After 10 minutes, check if the sides are coming off the pan and that the bottom has become light brown. Use a tawa to flip over and you need to be very careful. Place the tawa back on heat. and again cook for 10 to 12 minutes or till it's light brown below once the kunafa is ready switch off the flame and pour the sugar syrup over it
keep that aside until serving that's chicken pieces from the leftover mandi to shred for the pizza topping for instant pizza sauce you need ketchup to that add red chili flakes red chili powder vinegar sugar salt oregano final ingredient chopped garlic add more ketchup if needed mix well and it's ready start rolling the dough you actually don't have to rest the dough start preparing as soon as you finish kneading it kneading it a bit so that it's easy to roll check your pan size and prepare the base as per needed this is basically for thin crust so prefer not to make it thick or too thin into a heated pan add some olive oil spread all over and place the base on the pan keep on medium flame once you start seeing bubbles forming on top and the bottom is a bit light brown turn over now it's time to add the pizza sauce spread 2 spoons now for the topping add the mozzarella cheese first then go slice capsicum and chicken add more mozzarella cheese for a flavor i sprinkle some crushed black pepper on top just a bit and not too much cover and cook once the cheese is melted it's ready this takes hardly 3 to 4 minutes and the pizza is ready to transfer to a plate do the remaining the same way I added some chopped coriander leaves on one and it's totally optional. dinner time Nothing is more satisfying seeing your family enjoying the dishes you prepared. A happy meal is always a happy time. Now for the dessert. That's kunafa. And to serve along, I whipped fresh cream and whipping powder together to get a creamy texture.
didn't have pistachios hence use powdered cashew have each slice with some whipped cream and that ends for today's vlog hope you all enjoyed watching it if so as i always say do give a thumbs up and don't forget to try the recipes i shall wait for your feedback do share among your friends and family see you with another video until then take care bye bye